He was first and foremost a priest, not a politician. But for the best part of half a century, he was the face of reconciliation and South Africa's moral compass. The system of this country, apartheid, is immoral. The system of this country is evil. Desmond Mbilo Tutu remained outside of party politics, but he used the church as a platform for protest against white minority rule. It was under South Africa's oppressive government that he first campaigned against apartheid. When emotions were boiling over, his influence helped prevent bloodshed, and in 1984 he was given the highest recognition for his efforts. When you've been given the Nobel Peace Prize, it doesn't really belong to you, or, or in, in a way you can say it, it makes you uh, answerable to the world. I mean, the world, as it were, has a piece of you. He was a compassionate and sensitive man, one who would cry along with the victims as they gave their harrowing evidence at the Truth and Reconciliation Commission. It was Tutu who coined the phrase Rainbow Nation to describe South Africa's ethnic diversity, preaching unity in the face of adversity. But even after South Africa became a democratic country, Desmond Tutu was not afraid to speak out against injustices and he was often scathing in his criticism of the governing ANC. I am warning you, I am warning you that we will pray as we prayed for the downfall of the apartheid government. We will pray for the downfall of a government that misrepresents us. A spiritual figure with a global influence. There were few issues in the world that Desmond Tutu hasn't spoken out about, from human rights abuses to climate change to poverty. When you want peace, you negotiate, not with your friends. That is what at least we discovered in South Africa. That is what they discovered in Northern Ireland. You talk to the ones that you least like. I will remember his, 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 his moral courage that... Um, after going on his knees, no situation was insurmountable. And for him, uh, that uh, Roman passage that if God is for us, uh, nothing can be against us. It was not just a cliche, it was something that he lived. It's an enormous loss for South Africa. But Desmond Tutu's irrepressible sense of humor and relentless pursuit of justice will long be remembered by all.